So what is it about to be able to remind everyone that you know great although we still don't have a cure uh, really big things have happened in the, in the medical research industry in the last year um, big breakthroughs especially like in Africa between the mother to child infec infection uh, spread um, that's it's got a really 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 high rate of it not being spread from HIV uh, positive mothers to their unborn children, which is, a, is you know, it is possible by 2015 there'll be a whole generation of uh, uh, a generation without AIDS. Really, it's the vision of Dr. Matilda Krem, and that's who I'm here tonight to present her award, and it's a thrill and an honor. She is uh, one of my heroes, one of the nation's heroes, one of the world's heroes. Anyone who's alive today, living with AIDS, they're alive because of her, of her devotion, of her vision, of her understanding this epidemic 30 years ago when no one else knew what it was. Well, that's what friends are for, you know, and Ampar literally was started from the sales of that recording. So it made all the sense in the world. Did you ever think that that song would be as successful as it? As oh, it no was? doubt, no doubt. It just speaks to something that everybody relates to. And even though it was utilized as the anthem for the AIDS situation, people have used it for births, for weddings, for graduations. Good times, boy, Forevermore That's what friends are for